Hey guys, this is Abby Grant and I am here to do an instructional video on how to do a side braid in your hair. Okay, before I start braiding, I'm going to show you guys a few tools that you're going to need to do a really good braid in your hair. You're first going to need a regular hairbrush because whether your hair is wet or dry, you want to make sure that your hair is smooth and you comb out or brush out all of the little tangles that are hiding in your hair. If your hair is wet, I would recommend, instead of a hairbrush, use a wide tooth comb. You guys can see that. A wide tooth comb because it won't break your hair. When your hair is wet, it breaks easier, so it's um, better to use a wide tooth comb and comb the tangles out of your hair instead of using a hairbrush unless you absolutely have to because your hair will break a lot easier when it's wet. I also have a hair tie. For this braid, you only need one hair tie <laughs> to um, tie off your braid. Um, and I have a couple accessories that I will show you guys at the end of the video once my braid is finished that you can do to add some flair to your braid. Okay, so to start, I'm going to scoop this way so you guys can see. You can braid, this is a side braid, so you can braid your hair down the right side <coughs> or the left side whichever side feels more comfortable for you. For me, it's the left side. I always braid my hair down my left side of my head. So, to start, I'm gonna smooth the top of my hair out with the hairbrush. I'm gonna do it really lightly so I don't break my hair since it's wet. Now, it's easier for me to braid my hair when it's wet than when it is dry. I can't braid dry hair for the life of me, so that's why my hair is wet. But if you can braid dry hair, then that's great. If you can't braid it all, I'm going to teach you. Okay, so then I'm going to take my comb and go back over my hair. And I'm going to bring all of my hair over to the left side of my head where I'm going to braid it. And you want to make sure, you can use your fingers too, you want to make sure you get all of the strands. Nothing's hiding in front of your ears or behind your ears. You want to make sure you get all of your hair on one side of your head, like this just like this. So see, if you look, all of my hair is on this side of my head. Nothing's over here. Okay, now I'm going to teach you guys how to braid. For those of you that do not know how to braid, it's really easy, especially this kind of braid. This is just a simple braid. You're going to take your hair in three pieces. You're going to start with the one closest to your ear separate it off. This is why it's easier to do it wet because your hair is wet and it's easier to separate. Then you're going to have one closest to your neck and you're going to have one in the middle. Now to start, you're going to take the one closest to your neck and cross it over the middle. So the middle becomes the one closest to your neck and the one closest to your neck becomes the middle. Then you're going to take the one closest to your ear, cross it over the middle. So the ear piece becomes the middle and the middle piece becomes the ear piece. So then you're going to repeat that process, neck to middle, ear to middle, neck to middle, ear to middle, neck to middle, ear to middle. And you're going to do it all the way down. Now, you can braid your hair. Um, a really short braid and have a very long tail piece which is not braided it just hangs after you tie it off or I like to braid it as long as it will go until I can't braid my hair anymore so I'm gonna do a really long braid but if I was gonna do a short braid I could tie it off right here and have this stuff hang which is what some people like to do but I like to braid my hair all the way down until I can't braid it because the ends are too short so I'm going to braid as far as I can go. Now, for those of you that have really long hair, this might take you a while, but my hair is semi-long, so it doesn't take too long. Once you get the hang of braiding, it's really easy. Okay, so I'm at the end where I can't really braid anymore. So I'm going to take my hair tie, and I'm going to tie my braid off. get my finger out. There we go. 
And what I like to do is either take the comb or the brush and brush the ends out to make sure that I got no tangles in my little tail. And I'll take the brush and do it too. Doesn't matter which tool you use. So this is the braid, guys. If you can see it, it's three pieces, just like that. And my hair's kind of blonde, so it's got like this crazy color thing going on, but your hair will look just as pretty as it is. So you can tie it off with the regular hair tie, or I can give you guys some examples. This is a really cute hairstyle to do for school because it's out of your face. And when it dries, it stays out of your face if your hair's wet. And it's really easy. When your hair, if you take a shower in the morning, it's really easy just to pull your hair back into a braid with keeps it out of your face when you're doing school. And you can add something fun to it to make it look cute, like a headband with a bow. Or maybe you can tie you can tie a ribbon like this. You can tie it on the end in a bow, or you can just tie it. like that. You can tie it on the end. Just let it hang. If it's shorter, this is a really long ribbon. Um, another thing I like to do is when I braid my hair at night, because I take night showers, so I'll braid my hair at night when I, before I go to sleep, and instead of using a tight elastic hair tie, I'll use a scrunchie. My scrunchie has a little dog on it. I'll tie my hair off with a scrunchie instead of a hair elastic because then my hair doesn't get pulled at night and it doesn't break as easily as it dries. So you can tie a little scrunchie on the end and these come out a lot easier than elastics because they don't, they're not, there's nothing stiff about them. So that is how you do a side braid guys. Like I said before, I do it down the left side of my head. People can do about down the right. It's really easy to braid. It's three pieces of hair crossing over each other and switching places. So. It's really fun. I really enjoy it. I've been wearing braids since I was a little kid. So I'm glad that you guys are willing to watch this and then learn how to make a braid and go ahead and go braid your hair. And if you're a guy, you can braid your wife's hair or your daughter's hair, niece's hair, whoever's hair is long enough to braid. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. See you later.